It's the aviary. So far, two bird species belonging to the Bulbul family have been released at Tehakam's aviary. And in this episode, we will get acquainted again with one type of Bulbul, the black-headed Bulbul. However, something is different in this episode. Yes, this time, there was no bird release ritual. The reason? Goose, I think I heard the sound of a black-headed bulbul. Oh yes, me too. We want to remove the bulbul. Oh, uh, Kong Pio, why is the cage empty? Wow, the bulbul is lost. It hasn't been released. The bulbul has escaped first. Luckily, he flies within the aviary. The bulbul is already up there. How can he got away like that, Kang Pio? Sorry, guys. This is due to bad habits. We had prepared this bird in the cage for release. This black headed bulbul was a gift from Maz Bagoon, the developer of Dehekim's aviary. Initially, the bird was placed in a small cage. However, because the cage was too small, as usual, we moved it to a special cage for release, which was bigger. Usually, we install the GoPro in the cage. We also install a perch in the cell. After that, maybe we forgot to close the side door of the cage. Since the black-headed bulbul at Dehakim's aviary took the initiative to escape before being released, let's now jump straight into the discussion session. Black-headed bulbul. Initially, they were grouped into the genus Turtus before being transferred to the genus Pycnonotus. However, they were again transferred to Brachypodius. So, their full names are Brachypodius melanosphilos. The black-headed bulbul has olive yellow plumage with a glossy black head. The edges of the wings and tail are black, although there is a yellow tint at the tip of the seat. There is also a black-headed bulbul which, instead of yellow, body is dominated by dark gray. However, this type of bird is very rare. These birds are often seen living in pairs or small groups of six to eight birds. However, sometimes they like to be alone both when looking for food and resting in the branches of trees. Yes, they also love to fly from tree to tree. They can be found throughout Southeast Asia in forests up to 900 meters above sea level. Slightly different if we talk about the black-headed bulbul in Sumatra, Indonesia. They are seen at an altitude of 1,200 meters above sea level. To be more specific, you can see them in secondary forests and the edges of forests or rivers. However, they are also sometimes seen on the beach. Their food is insects, spiders, invertebrates. However, their favorite food is fruits like berries. The sound of this bird is quite melodic, similar to a sharp whistle that repeats itself. However, their voices are not as loud as other bulbuls, such as the Chuchak Rowo or the Chuchak Kuthilong. When the breeding season arrives, the male black-headed bulbul will show their readiness by chirping loudly. They also become aggressive, even to the point of attacking other birds who dare to enter their territory. On the other hand, female black-headed bulbuls show their readiness to mate by flapping their wings and emitting a soft chirp. Once the black-headed bulbul finds a mate, they will make a nest in the tree. They will glue the cobwebs on the pile of dry leaves, grass fibers and twigs that they have previously collected until the materials form like a cup. They also often use Y-shaped twigs to support the nest. The female then lays two to five pink, purple-spotted eggs in the nest. 
the female parent only incubates the eggs for two weeks. Black-headed bulbul chicks will be cared for by their parents for several weeks before flying out of the nest. The male parent takes part after the eggs hatch. Together with the female parent, the male will forage for food and give it to their young. A year later, they will grow into adult black-headed bulbuls. Black-headed bulbul has a wide distribution area, up to 2,410,000 km and with a stable population, they fall into the least concern category. Hopefully, this video can also be useful for you. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. See you in the next episode.